All right, guys. The Edge and Blades here on about cigars. Um, first off, let me just you know right off the bat say this. I'm gonna put in the uh, description, uh, adults only, and you know right here, 18 and up, please, just because it's a topic that you know is smoking basically. You know, cigars, tobacco products. So keep this. Um, you know, just adults only, please. I don't need, you know, angry messages from, you know, parents or whatever you're saying, you know, hey, you told my kid to go smoke a cigar. No, I didn't. Um, it's my telling you right now. Um, just, you know, if you're 18, enjoy. You know, 18 or older, enjoy this. Um, if you're of legal smoking age, I should say. I know it varies around the world. Um, and I know I have a couple international viewers. I was looking at my subscriptions um, and where they're from, and you know, so I don't, I'm not sure on all the laws everywhere. But let's try to just keep this as um, legal smoking adults. So you know, because kids, you know, can be pressured into doing things, you know, smoking, drinking, something that. They normally wouldn't and shouldn't be doing just because they see it somewhere else and they think it's cool or their friends are pressuring them into doing that and that's not what I'm doing. I'm just talking about a hobby and if you are interested in it, you can watch the video if you're old enough and if not, then I have 25 other videos up there for you. So you can enjoy those, I guess. <laughs> um, so let me just real quick why I started or why I'm doing this video. I know it's kind of different. It's not knives or gear or anything, um, but it's spring here um, in Atlanta, and today was gorgeous. It was 80 degrees out, uh, sunny, a cool breeze. It was just beautiful outside, um, and at night, you know, I was in a good mood all day. I got home you know, from work, and just, it was 8 o'clock, and I just went out with a cigar, and sat by my pool, and looked into the woods, and just, you know, listened to the, to the animals, it was probably 75 degrees, still pleasant, um, and I just listened to, you know, listened to the wildlife, thought, um, someone had a fire going, so I was, you know, could smell the smoke, and um, it was just really, really pleasant, really good time. And I was just out there with a cigar. So that's why I'm doing this video. Um, what you see right here is my humidor. Um, it's a modified Otterbox. Herfador humidors are very similar to this. Uh, basically, they're crush proof. Basically, they look just like an Otterbox, except right here instead of Otterbox. And, um,. It says Herfador. And I'll see, I have a magazine here I'm going to show you in a second. And I should have opened it earlier to this. But I'll, um, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. First, let me show you what's inside. For those of you that don't know really what a humidor is, is it keeps your cigars at an optimal temperature and humidity range. Now up top, you can see I just used um, electrical tape to attach the humidifier, which is right here, and the hydrometer, which is right here. Now, these aren't incredibly expensive tools. The hydrometer was, I believe, $7, and this was $6, so pretty cheap. Um, and you can see this is basically, this tells me the humidity. It's got a little area right here where, you know, it says what's normal. And it's in the normal range right now. It says less than 60. Probably 50. It's like 55. Um, it should be a little bit higher than that in my opinion. What I hear is usually 70 degrees. And 70% humidity is best. So I may add a little bit more distilled water to this. Um, basically this is just foam in here. And it absorbs water and it releases it into the humidor. And keeps the uh, cigars humid. But it's got to be distilled water because you don't want impurities in your cigars. Um, but I, I just constructed this today, so um, this is at a point where I think it's pretty accurate. Um, and it's had quite a while to adjust. 
Um, but that's also why my cigars are still wrapped. I haven't unwrapped them yet because I just got the humidor and I was waiting for it to regulate. Um, so all you cigar nuts out there who are looking at this and <laughs> seeing wrapped cigars in the humidor, um, yes, I'm going to unwrap them, but for right now it is what it is. So let me just go over what I have in here real quick. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But I have two cutters right here. One is a single blade guillotine cutter. Um, basically, you cut the end off the cigar to smoke it. Then you put it in there and you just snap it closed. Very simple cutter. And here we have another um, double bladed cutter. Uh, I believe this was about, mm, I'm going to say $7, and this was 4 so pretty cheap, and, and the um, how to make this humidor is also pretty cheap, uh, the box I think was 25 to 30 and you know I told you the price on these, so you can put this together for pretty cheap and it works really well, so that's just that. I also have a water pipette in here to put distilled water in my... Um, humidifier. In addition to that, I of course have cigars, obviously, right? Let me get those out real quick for you. As well as just a piece of cedar. Um, this was in this Cohiba box. Um, of course, Cohibas are a big name cigar. So, um, you know, they had very nice packaging and stuff, so I just put that in there. Um, but here's what I have, cigar-wise, um, in there currently. This is one of those Cohibas. It's a mini cigarillo. Of course, these are all hand-rolled. Um, I believe all of them are rolled in the... Dominican Republic. I'm not positive, um, so don't quote me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure these are all Dominican hand rolls. Um, so, yeah, here's a Cohiba. This came in this tin, which I have something different in there, and I'll show you in a second. We have two Acid Blondie cigars by Drew Estate. Um, as you can see, they're smaller. Um, I'm going to say this probably takes, mm, say, 10 minutes to smoke. These probably take a half hour each. This uh, Nub Connecticut right here, uh, burn times an hour on that. This one, the Macanudo 1968, um, I believe is maybe 80 to 100 minutes and this I guess to raise uh, Criello or Crollo, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's um, big cigar here, it's about two hours I want to say, somewhere around there a little bit less if you know you just you want to get through it, but um, the purpose of smoking a cigar is, of course, to enjoy it. Um, so yeah, these are the cigars I have um, right now, and of course, I'm going to unwrap them because they're 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 kept in this, so they maintain a level of appropriate humidity. But um, obviously, now that my humidor is functioning and pretty stable I think I'm going to take them out so you don't have to you know if you're a cigar not watching this you know don't be like ah well, you know why are you doing that man I know you don't have to put that in the comments I <laughs> completely understand your uh, your plight and I'm going to unwrap them right after this video so no worries there I'm just gonna put all this away real quick and just real quick talk about what's in here um, I saved the bands of all the cigars I smoke, and I just put them in this little tin. This is where uh, the ten little cigars came from, or cigarillos. And here are just the bands. Um, 
real quick. D2. Cohibas. Some acids. CAO. Tediana. Cohiba. And more Cohibas. Real quick. And I'm going to put this uh, lens on. So I can show you these. Uh, I believe this band right here. This is a Drew State Acid Cigar. I showed you the blondies. These right here. This one. I mean, they're, they're the same. You know, same bands. But this one right here is from the Kuba Kuba. And this one is from the Blondie. So, two really good infused cigars. Basically, they're the tobacco that's inside them is hung in an aroma room. And it just infuses the tobacco and it makes for a very mild, pleasant, kind of sweet, good tasting cigar. This one's the CAO Italia. Um, this one's more, you know, full bodied, uh, kind of spicy. Um, the Tediana. This is what I enjoyed tonight. I know it's a cheaper cigar, uh, but I wanted, had one left, um, and it's grape flavored, and it was pretty quick. It took me about a half hour to get through it. So that's just um, a nice flavor that I enjoy. These are the Cohiba, just the cigarillos. And for all of you guys that are into cigars, you have seen this wrapper. Probably caught you right away. Um, but as you can see, right there, Habana, Cuba. This is a Cuban Cohiba. Um, Absolutely wonderful. Love this one. Um, very hard to find. Very expensive, but definitely worth it. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do, you know, like, reviews. Um, you know, maybe if I get a lot of requests or something to do, like, a, a review on a cigar, I'll do that, I guess. But I'm not anticipating a lot of requests for that. So let me just flip this back up real quick and show you this magazine that I was flipping through earlier. It's just a um, Cigars International magazine. Um, let me see. Yeah, my address is on the back, so I'm not going to show you the back, but um, I just flip through it. It's got a bunch of cool stuff. Here's the, uh, actually, this is a Herfador brand uh, humidor right there. Um, yeah, just flip through here. They have a bunch of different stuff. Pricing, um, sampler packs. So if you want to get into cigars, check out. Here's the line of Acid Cigars by Drew Estate. Um, as well as some natural down there. Um, so if you, if you want to get started, you know, go to uh, Cigars International and check it out, they'll send you a free catalog and right there see it is the Herfador by Humicare you can see it looks the bigger model right here looks almost exactly like my Otterbox um, I honestly think it's the same thing it's just got a little humidifier in there I think this is actually nice, mine is actually nicer because I added a hydrometer as well to monitor it but it's uh, made of a crush proof reinforced ABS flame that's not with foam cushioning. This airtight, watertight cigar case will keep your handmade safe and sound. So, it's, uh, it's, it's, I think it's basically the exact same thing I have. It's just, I made mine, and that comes with it. But just, you know, if you're interested, um, definitely check out one of these magazines. And, um, if you want to see, you know, reviews and stuff in the future, let me know. But thank you for watching. Sorry about this long video that had nothing to do with knives or blades. But I appreciate you watching. And um, hope to see you soon. Thanks.